In the 2nd century BC, the Seleucid Empire was in a state of decline, leaving the Middle East up for grabs. Armenia and Cappadocia left the Seleucid sphere of influence, the Parthians expanded west, and the Romans gained a foothold in Anatolia by annexing Pergamon. Then, in 120 BC, Mithridates VI became king of Pontus and set about expanding his small kingdom. He expanded north as far as Crimea and looked to expand further into Anatolia. So he had his brother-in-law, the king of Cappadocia, assassinated in 116 BC, making his young nephew the new king. But his now widowed sister then married the king of Bithynia, Nicomedes III, thus giving the Bithynians a claim to the kingdom. Mithridates militarily seized regency over the kingdom, but in 100 BC he had his nephew killed and made his own son king. Then, after Nicomedes of Bithynia failed to install his own son-in-law on the throne, he appealed to Rome for help. Instead, however, the Romans decided to install their own king, making Cappadocia a Roman client state. In 95 BC, angered, Mithridates invaded Bithynia in 90 BC, forcing the new Bithynian king, Nicomedes IV, to flee to Rome. And Mithridates also persuaded the king of Armenia, Tigranus, to attack Cappadocia. A Roman legation demanded that Mithridates withdraw, and he obliged when he saw that Armenia was preoccupied with rebellions of their own. But the Romans also persuaded Nicomedes to raid Pontic territory, and this provoked Mithridates to finally declare war in 89 BC. In Rome, a large civil war had erupted, so Mithridates was able to easily push west without much opposition. As he pushed into Europe, the anti-Roman Greeks who had approved of his massacre of Roman civilians rose up to support him. However, by 87 BC, Sulla, the new Roman consul, had crushed his opposing political factions in Rome, the Popularis, and landed a large army in Epirus. He then moved inland and lay siege to Athens. After a year-long siege, the Romans captured the city, massacred its inhabitants, and moved north to meet the relieving Pontic forces. Although outnumbered, the disciplined and tactically superior Romans crushed the Pontics in battle, forcing them to retreat from Europe. But back in Rome, the Popularis had taken power and challenged Sulla's authority over his armies. So in 84 BC, Sulla signed a hasty treaty with Mithridates, allowing him to remain king, while Sulla returned to Rome to reclaim power. The following year, as Sulla's civil war was raging in Rome, the general left in control of Roman Anatolia decided to launch a preemptive strike against Mithridates, believing that he was rebuilding his armies. But Mithridates fought off the advance, so when Sulla retook power, he demanded peace be made in 81 BC. The situation in Anatolia remained peaceful until 74 BC, when Nicomedes IV of Bithynia died, leaving his kingdom to the Romans. So, unwilling to see the region pass into Roman hands, Mithridates mustered an army and invaded Bithynia. But once again, the Romans were fighting uprisings in their empire. In Spain, the Sertorian War had erupted, and in Italy, they were fighting the Spartacus Revolt. Roman general Lucullus was, however, able to halt the Pontic advance at the western coast of Anatolia. So, with no base for the winter, the Pontics had to retreat. Further Roman successes forced Mithridates to seek refuge in Armenia. The Romans demanded that King Tigranes the Great hand him over to the Romans, but he refused. This is because, over the previous decade, Tigranes had considerably expanded his kingdom and didn't want to give in to Roman authority. So Lucullus moved into Armenia, won a decisive victory, and sacked their capital city. However, he was unable to capture either of the kings, so Pompey, later Pompey the Great, took control of the war in 66 BC. He managed to persuade the Parthians to launch an assault on the Armenians from the east while he moved in from the west. King Tigranes, realizing his position, sued for peace. Tigranes was forced to surrender a great deal of territory to the Romans and become an ally of Rome. Mithridates then left Armenia and fled north. Pompey pursued him through the Caucasus, invading the kingdom of Iberia in the process. And after consistent defeats and nowhere else to go, Mithridates committed suicide in 63 BC, ending the Third Mithridatic War. The Pontic region was annexed as a Roman province, while the rest of his kingdom and Iberia was turned into satellite states. In terms of land conquered, the wars were some of the most successful in Roman history. However, Rome now shared a border with the Parthians, and this started a rivalry which would last for centuries.